Hello, this is Scott Bach Hansen with Discovery Consulting. Today I'm going to go over the reason why I chose to get involved into uh, the imaging and office equipment consultant side. Um, I have a lot of background in uh, this industry, so I felt it was a, a good place for me to go and be able to help uh, businesses with their spend and their overall efficiency with their office equipment. So a little bit more about me. I have over 20 years experience in the industry. Um, from strategic accounts to regional sales manager, I've held uh, pretty much every role, uh, whether it be for a dealer or a manufacturer. I've, I've worked with Conica Minolta and Sharp and Rico and Kyocera. Um, I've worked with all the major leasing partners in the industry, and sometimes just you know being able to navigate those waters um, is really important for businesses because they're not familiar with all the terms and conditions and, and when you have to get letters in and how the leasing partners work. Um, and so, you know, understanding that and understanding, you know, just how the leases and the maintenance contracts work is, uh, is a big piece of how we might be able to go in and help companies become more efficient, get the best possible contracts for themselves, and, mo and more importantly, save money along the way. So, and I still have a lot of strong connections in the industry, um, which is important, but I do want to state that I, I don't work for any manufacturers. I don't work for any dealers or vendors. I work only for the, the clients that hire me to go help them uh, achieve their goals. Um, and so a, a little bit more about my process is I, I meet with our uh, the decision makers first just to have an initial consultation, review your contracts, look at your, uh, your maintenance agreements, understand uh, you know, maybe from the previous billing cycles, uh, you know, what you're looking at and, and see if there's a, a an opportunity because in some cases there may not be an opportunity, um, whether it be because you've either done a really good job already, number one, or number two, the timing just isn't right because a lot of times people will be, uh, you know, still a couple years out in their lease um, and financially it's just, uh, there's no way to make an impact when you're still that far out. So, um, but I meet with decision makers to also understand what the goals are for the outcome. There's a lot of times that there's information that, uh, you know, is private, that, that not everyone in the company knows. You, you may be looking at uh, reducing uh, staff or you may be looking at adding a new location and that information is not out yet. And so um, I, I'm open to signing a non-disclosure agreement as well. Um, but having all that information does help me um, help make the right decisions for you and your company. Uh, you know, if you have a, a, a representative from your company, uh, a client representative, um, that you would like to join me at the hip through this whole process, then I'm happy to train them. I'm happy to teach them. I'll show them the different processes. I'll give them um, all the step-by-step -step information. I will say it does slow things down, so it creates more hours. Um, but at the end of the day, in the long run, it's going to really make a, a big difference. You won't have to worry about hiring me a second time around. Um, I'll be able to teach this person all the ins and outs of what we do, and they're with me every step of the way. So um, that that's something that uh, I'm open to as well as being able to teach uh, one of your staff members how to do this. Um, reviewing all the equipment, you know, looking at the different features that you have, understanding the existing contracts, not only the leases but the maintenance agreements, um, and I want to identify the appropriate vendors for making the selections for the client. So you might have some comfort with certain vendors, but maybe not others, um, you know, just getting that information. And then from there on, I go meet with the vendors. I demo the equipment. Um, I understand, you know, what your staff is looking for, because I've already interviewed the client stakeholders. You know, you might have somebody in accounting that wants, you know, one thing, somebody in the mailroom wants another thing, somebody that's a, a guru that handles all the office equipment in your office might uh, be looking for something else. So, um, you know, I want to make sure that I, I have all these check boxes and I'm able to negotiate with the vendors directly to make sure we identify more savings opportunities. Um, I'm going to also stay throughout the process. And that means not just managing the selection of the equipment, but also be there for the delivery of the new equipment and the replacement and return of the existing equipment. And so I'm going to make sure that we confirm all the different required pricing levels uh, that are within the contracts. And once delivery has occurred, then the project's complete, and that's uh, you know when I leave from uh, from the project. So <clears throat> I, I think it's best maybe to tell you how I, I kind of got into this. Um, obviously, with my background, it, it makes sense. But I was actually working for a friend of mine uh, <clears throat> in a company, and and he had asked me if I would help them with uh, you know their their office equipment situation and. 
And so I was able to go through their different process and, and look at the different agreements that they had in place. And, um, you know, for lack of a better term, it, it's, uh, it really is a, uh, it was a mess. Uh, you know, they had six different copiers on five different leases. They had, uh, multiple vendors, um, <clears throat> and they were looking to add an additional unit for a new location, uh, that not everybody was privy to. So, um, you know, I asked him what his goals were and he said, well, he, he'd like to right size the equipment for each location because he just kind of felt like it got out of hand, which it did. Um, make the lease contracts more manageable. Um, obviously having multiple leases makes it very, very difficult. Um, and what ended up happening is they were allowing each different location to, to drive, uh, you know, what equipment they were getting. So it wasn't uh, necessarily a positive uh, experience for them. So um, it also, the, the maintenance contracts were all over the place. Um, the reduced the overall spend, obviously, they wanted, they wanted to save some money and uh, you know, they wanted to stay with the same vendor because they didn't want to have to, you know, train their employees on all new equipment. The, the employees like the equipment. Um, and then the, the, the end goal, he said, listen, if, if you can save us a thousand dollars per year, we'll be really happy. And, um, you know, so I, I, I share this information with you because I, I'm not saying that this is going to be, um, you know, what will be with your situation, but you know, this is an ideal situation that we kind of ran into. Um, of the five different leases, and you'll see here, I've created uh, this chart for you to be able to see this from, uh, you know, the the monthly, the annual, and a three-year period um, of what it looks like, of what they were spending, and, and their leases were all over the place, three years, four years, five years, um, you know, they renegotiated certain leases, and they rolled one lease into another, and so there's a lot of different moving parts in these uh, contracts that if you're not familiar with, you can really uh, you can really get lost in there and, and make some other bad decisions and compound them. So, um, but their total lease expense on a monthly basis was a little bit over twenty four hundred dollars a month. Their maintenance uh, they were spending a little bit a uh, little under nine cents a page on color, and they were averaging about eighteen thousand uh, color prints a month and forty thousand black and white prints a month. And they were paying uh, a penny a page, and so uh, you know they were spending roughly two thousand dollars a month. Uh, and just maintenance alone. Uh, so total, they were spending a little bit over $4,400 a month. That equated to $53,000 uh, for a, a year is what their spend was, and $159,000 over three years. Now, you look at this and you might think, oh my gosh, how'd they let this happen? But this is very common in, uh, in the industry. Um, and what ends up happening is uh, people that are in the office equipment uh, sales side of things, they look at ways to... Um, get the next sale and they always look at attacking the payment. And so when they attack the payment, they always attack the lease payment. They never really attack the maintenance side of things. Um, but the, the meet, the, the lease side, <clears throat> you know, it'd be very easy for somebody to come in and this actually happened to him, which is why he asked me to, to, to get involved. And he said, uh, you know, they're, they're offering me to, to sign a new lease. Um, and they'll replace all the equipment and it's going to cost me $2,200 a month instead of $2,400 a month. Sounds like a pretty good deal, and I think I should sign it, but I just want to get your eyes on this before I do it. And uh, I looked at it, and I said, "Yeah, I can help you. Let me let me look at this. We'll you know we'll go a little bit more thorough." Um, and you know, I mean, twenty-two hundred dollars for the equipment that they had that would save them over two hundred dollars a month or twenty-four hundred dollars a year. And you heard his previous comment: if we can save a thousand dollars a year, we'll be really happy. Um, so this would have been, this would have made him ecstatic to save, uh, you know, 2,400 bucks a year. Um, but instead, um, you know, I said, let, let me get deeper in here because I think there's more opportunities. So, um, this is what we ended up doing. And if the, 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 above the black line is, is, uh, just a copy of what I had on the previous slide, just so we keep that information fresh of what their current spend was. And underneath is what we were able to do. So, um, on the equipment side, we uh, we upgraded five uh, of the units. Now, <clears throat> again, they had six, and so um, what we ended up doing was we replaced one of the units um, and and just bought it out. Uh, they only had 1,500 copies on this one unit that the lease was up on. It cost us uh, a little over a thousand dollars to buy this brand new copier. We sent it to the new location. They'll have it for three, four, five years because um, their volume won't be that high. 
and it will be uh, it'll be a really good fit for them. So, um, and, and that's included in all these these numbers that you see here. So, um, we we ended up signing a lease for sixteen hundred eighty five bucks, and that gave them uh, you know the five new units plus we bought the other one for the new location, and then we have uh, the maintenance we were able to also negotiate down. They they went from spending two thousand dollars a month to fourteen hundred and thirty dollars a month. And that's just based on their average monthly volume over a two-year period um, that I use that number from. So that's uh, five hundred and seventy dollars a month just in maintenance, not even including the equipment. So overall, we saved them a little over three thousand uh, dollars. I mean, we, the, the, the total price was over three thousand dollars, and we saved them a little over thirteen hundred dollars a month, um, not a year, a month. And so that ended up saving them fifteen thousand dollars plus. Uh, for the year, which made him ecstatic, and I think that that's uh, one of the more important pieces to this puzzle, and that's that we weren't just looking to save him, you know, money so that he would be happy. Um, we wanted to to really deliver, and so being able to do that and, and getting all the contracts on the same contract, getting a three-year lease signed for all the equipment, um, you know, which is what I would recommend. I, you know, you never want to go too long because you know technology changes business changes you never know what's going to happen from one year to the next obviously we're living in a you know COVID-19 world now <clears throat> so the, the least uh, you know flexibility that you have can be really important um, and, and you know what this included was also taking all the old equipment and paying off all the leases returning all the equipment to the leasing companies um, and having all the new equipment delivered and having the staff trained so that's, that was all part of this package. Um, we went from, you know, saving them, you know, what he was looking at, $2,400, <clears throat> and we saved him $15,673. There's a big opportunity that's out there that not a lot of people are, are aware of. So I share this with you because, again, this may not be exactly your situation, um, but there's a lot of different moving parts, and if we can identify them, we will, and I'll, I'll definitely work hard uh, to make sure that we accomplish that. And if you have somebody join me, I'll, I'll, I'll teach them. Um, if you're interested in having me, uh, you know, come out and meet with you uh, and do an initial consultation. Again, initial consultation is free. Um, go through and see if there's any opportunities. And if there is at that time, I, I share with you, um, you know, how it works from our side of the fence as well. So um, if I can help you in, in that or any business development side of things, um, I also do insurance consulting services and financial planning. So... Um, it, our approach is a little bit different because we, we look at trying to find ways to help uh, find money that, that's being spent uh, unknowingly and unnecessarily, and we try to reallocate that. And I think that there's a, there's a lot of opportunities to be able to help, and uh, if there's a way that we can come out and help your business or your family, we certainly want to do that. So I thank you for spending the time to look at this, and hopefully you got a lot out of it. And, again, if there's anything we can do to help you, we want to do that. Thanks again for taking your time.